Dear Dr. Bill, I'm very concerned about the environment. What but exactly I'm not rich. is the hybrid car is the best? Dear Doctor, what can I do? What can I slow down? How can I help? Dear Dr. Bill, Dear Dr. Bill, Dear Dr. Bill, what can I do? I do. Hi, folks. I'm Bill Shemitas, Chief Scientist at Environmental Defense. We're going to be walking around New York City today, looking at cars and talking about how we can save greenhouse gas emissions by driving the right kind of cars and doing the right things with our cars. So come on along. Cars are a fact of life even in New York City. We're all driving cars, we're all going places in cars. Cars emit greenhouse gases. In fact, Americans comprise about 5% of the world's population. But in terms of greenhouse gas emissions from cars, we're responsible for 45% of those emissions. So what can we do to still drive our cars and keep our greenhouse gas emissions at a minimum? That's what we're talking about today. If I want to do something about climate, if I want to stop global warming, does that mean I have to give up my SUV or my pickup truck? And the answer is no. What I recommend to people is they decide what class of car is most appropriate for their lifestyle. And if your lifestyle demands an SUV or a pickup truck, get that kind of car. But once you decide what class of car you're going to get, get the car that has the best fuel economy, the best miles per gallon. So here's something you can do if you're interested in fighting global warming and you need to get from one place to another. Ride a bike. Most people don't know, but it turns out that riding a bike is the most efficient form of transportation in the world for all species. The most efficient form of transportation. So when you can, it's fun, ride a bike. Now we need to be careful because this bike actually belongs to those two women back there. And we don't want to get on the bad side of them. So let's very, very quietly walk away. And the next thing we're going to talk about is tires. So come on. Tires are important. You need to remember to always keep your tires properly inflated. If they're not, more of the surface of the tire touches the road, there's more friction, you waste gasoline. So always keep your tires properly inflated. You need to check the tread of your tire too for safety's sake. This tire looks good to go. Folks, this is what you call a Hummer. People ask me lots of times what I think when I see a car like this. And you know what I think? I think, why? What about hybrids? People always ask me, so if I want to buy a better car, should I just buy a hybrid? And the answer is, the real issue has to do with fuel efficiency. Not all hybrids are created the same. Some hybrids get really, fuel, really good fuel economy. Some hybrids, that extra energy that you're getting from a hybrid is being put into performance and not miles per gallon. So what I would recommend is decide what kind of car you want, what class of car you want and buy the one with the best fuel efficiency, the best fuel economy. It might be a hybrid, it might not. Okay, so you're not in the market for a new car. Is there still something you can do about global warming? Of course, it has to do with how you drive and how you take care of your car. We're gonna talk about some of those things right now. We'll end today's inaugural Dr. Bill video in New York City's famous spot, a yellow cab. It's a good place to go over driving tips that will not only save you money but help stop global warming. Let's start with a tough one for those of you who pride yourselves as being competitive drivers. Slow down, drive moderately. On average, an aggressive driver uses more than 125 extra gallons of gasoline each year. That's more than a ton and a half of CO2 into the atmosphere and the last time I checked at the gas pump, that's more than $250 out of your wallet. Driving in heavy traffic, it's a drag. It's a waste of time. It's hard on your patients. It's also a waste of gasoline, and it's bad for global warming. So don't drive in heavy traffic. Try to time your trips when the traffic's light. Telecommute. Combine all your errands so you don't have to make lots of trips. And don't forget, riding a bicycle can be fun. It's also good for the planet. So our message for today is don't stop driving. Just drive and use your car smart. Well, thanks for coming along today, and I hope we answered all your questions about cars and global warming. Take care. 
And until next time, don't forget, when you ask Dr. Bill, Dr. Bill answers.